it is the return of Phantom Pain. It's like the return of the Phantom Menace. Isn't that like one of the Star Wars movies? I don't know, maybe I'm like part Jedi. Or maybe I just have a lot of medications in my system. Good morning, my beautiful internet friends, and welcome back to day 13 of post-amputation round two recovery. Since my cast fell off, I have been wearing the belt that I need to when I get up and do stuff. Let me let me tell you guys, it is real classy. I think I'm gonna start a new fashion statement with it and just like keep this trend going even when I don't have to wear it anymore because guys, this look is hot. Let me show you. We got this uh, nice thick canvas strap. We just Cinch that on in, guys. And there we have it. Mm, yes, model pose, model pose. I'm looking good, guys. Anything to deal with things right now. The first time around, I did not have any phantom pain for like at least a week. I think. So it's now day, um, like I said, I think 11 or 12. Uh, phantom pain just started and it's like an electrical wire has been connected to the bottom of my foot and is sending crazy shocks up my leg from my foot. I was like pretty much phantom pain free and this time around it's been 13 days and I've I'm out of breath from sitting up. This time around, it has been 13 days and I have not had any phantom pain, which has been really nice. The big new procedure that they did in my surgery actually dealt specifically with nerves and specifically with the nerve that I usually feel phantom pain on. I've started feeling that again on that nerve, but apparently that's nothing to worry about because it can take up to six months for the work to actually take effect. So welcome back phantom pain. Um, what I do when this happens since it's cast it and I can't rub it or anything like that to try to disrupt the nervous signals. Is that, a, I guess that's a word. So I have these super handy ice packs off of Amazon. I'll link them down below if anyone's interested in these specifically because they work super well, especially after like any kind of surgery because they can just Velcro on around your injury, um, but I'll wrap it around my cast like so and keep it elevated. It's not really bad right now. Um, pain meds are pain meds are keeping things generally under control. It's weird that it's almost been two weeks since this all happened. So much has happened in those two weeks. There are two things that I feel that are really important to share right now. First of all, I tried to take the battery out to start my camera. Drugs are fun, kid. Don't do them. Secondly, do you have any idea how hard it is when I'm stuck at home all day alone, knowing that my leg is like a zombie underneath my cast? Also knowing that my cast comes off because, you know, this happened. My cast just fell off. Literally just fell, literally just fell off my leg. To not take my cast off and just see how it's doing, just see how things are coming along, just see if maybe the zombie leg invasion has spread and I no longer have a leg in there at all. I mean, no, I'm not going to do it because I don't want to mess with my healing, but it's, it's, it's so difficult to sit here all day, guys, knowing the power that I have that I can't use. And yeah, it, it hurt like hell to try to get my leg back into my cast. It will probably hurt like hell again, but um, life is pain. If you're wondering, yes, the pain medication did just set in, hence why I'm like this. Thought I would share some daily struggles with you guys. Ugh, I need to lay down. One thing that I found really hard is just focusing on healing. And I talked about this on Instagram, on one of my Instagram stories. So if you aren't following me on Instagram and you want to, you definitely should. I'll link my Instagram down below. I know the best way to heal and to recover right now is to rest and to listen to my body, but it is so hard to not like push it just a little bit, you know, like, oh, I could, I could edit things or I could, you know, get a little bit of work done here or I could take care of this, you know, be up a little bit longer until I feel like I'm gonna actually fall over and pass out. It's hard to just sit and do nothing. It feels like I'm being a worthless member of society. It feels like I'm like neglecting things. It's like there's this like persistent voice in the back of my head telling me I need to do more. And I if have done I think an okay job of telling it to be quiet this time around, which is why there haven't been like tons of videos. And I'm kind of proud of myself for that. 
So I'm just gonna stay curled up with my blankets and my heating pad and uh, watch some more Carnival Row because that's what I've needed. I've needed to rest. I've needed to just lay down and close my eyes or watch The Office or Friends or whatever. And with all the weird stuff that's happened so far between the hospital and the infection and the weird stuff in that is going on with my leg, I, I want to heal right. If that means lounging on the couch and keeping it elevated and iced and feeling like a bum, then that's what I'm gonna do. Like you'd think it'd be easy to rest, right? Like resting is like an e like it's an easy thing to do. You just have to let go, but that letting go has been difficult for me. A new development since last time, uh, I have been having shots every morning. I was really freaked out when I found that out because I've never given myself a shot. Like I'm sure I could do it, but it just sounds really freaky. And so Brian stepped up and was like, heck yes, I'll do it. Alcohol everywhere. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. One, two. Didn't even say three. And so he's been a rock star and he's been giving me shots of Lovenox, I think it's called, every morning um, in the stomach. Like he just has a like grab skin and just jab it in there. It's to prevent blood clots. I think we have like four left to go. I've got little bruises all over my stomach because it because of like the stuff, it burns and it leaves a bruise. I mean, here's like the bruising that I have. So that, that's like the worst one. And then there are other spots for sure. Hey, it's anything to prevent a blood clot, I'm cool with. Last time it was just baby aspirin. This time we're going with like the heavy duty stuff. And that's about all I have to report. Uh, my life is my life is pretty, pretty much laying on the couch recovering right now. That's all I can think to say. The medications are kicking in. I love you guys, I'm thinking of you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.